Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hey, let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a ton for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Uh, today's beer comes from Vitamin C Brewing. This is their one big happy family. Uh, this was sent to me by my beer brother Greg and he writes, uh, he said he's not a fan of triple IPAs, but I am. Uh, he said he finds them too boozy. Uh, if I did probably had this beer or a triple IPA 10 years ago or, or 12 years ago I may have found it too boozy also it all depends on where your palate is and what you like to drink and what you had drank uh, and what where your palate is uh, at the time that you drink it uh, like I said I mean if you're just getting into IPAs or even double IPAs a triple IPA might be a little too much uh, so uh, I'm sure he will grow into them, just like I have. Uh, says here, uh, but they, but the guy he was talking to in, in the line in front of me, of course he stood in front of, you know, in a line at the brewery to get them. A lot of breweries are that way, uh, especially when they make your beers as delicious and outstanding as these guys do. There is a line. I mean, uh, if they don't have a big distribution or any distribution, you have to buy them at the brewery. Uh, a lot of times there is a line. I mean, uh, people here uh, are, have tasted what they're making and brewing, and they go stand in line to get their hands on them, guys. That's just how it is. So uh, it is what it is when you're making world-class beers. The, the word gets around, and, and the stuff starts flying out the door. So... You, you guys are gals that are up near the brewery in Massachusetts. Lucky son of the beaches. Uh, that's all I got to say. I wish I was close enough where I could go. I mean, maybe one of these days I'll make a road trip and, and visit some breweries up there with my beer brother Greg in Vermont and Rhode Island and Massachusetts and a lot of outstanding breweries up there in that neck of the woods that are producing world-class beer guys. And people stand in line to get their hands on them. Not so much around here. Ain't nobody standing in line around the breweries around here to get their hands on the transitional garbage these people around here are making. <laughs> I'm not going to. Anyway, uh, says here, uh, he said it was so great, so he picked up a four pack. The one I sent is actually a, a contribution from his friend Richie. So, Richie, thanks a bunch for picking it up and getting it to Greg to get it to me. Uh, I do appreciate it. I really, really do. So, uh, it's always a pleasure uh, to get a beer my package from Greg because he doesn't send me any garbage, guys. I mean, uh, he. He's up there in the vicinity. He gets world-class beers from multiple breweries up there. You lucky. Lucky, lucky. Uh, so, uh, with that being said, uh, let me jump over to Untapped. Uh, no IBUs. This is a 10.2 percenter. Uh, it says 10.25 on the can here. A New England IPA. It's actually New England. A triple IPA is not a recognized style. Uh, so it's a New England, I'm going to call it an Imperial, because uh, a triple is not actually a recognized style. So, uh, pop with Citra and Cashmere Hops. And it's a plain Jane Silver can, and on the bottom it says, From Irish to Yours, canned on 0924 of 20. So, about six days old, guys. Pretty damn fresh, considering shipping time and to get to me and all that kind of crap. So... Uh, and Beer Advocate says, during these crazy times, and they are crazy times, everybody knows that 2020 is, is sucked out loud and uh, all that. 
So hopefully we'll get a grip on that and get a vaccine before too long. And uh, just remember to go vote. Go vote. Uh, I don't care who you're voting for. Just go vote. Make your voice heard. Uh, and I think everybody knows where I, what direction I'm going in. Being a gun owner and uh, not wanting to lose Second Amendment rights. But I'm not going to get political. I'm not endorsing any candidate. Uh, just go vote. Make your voice heard. Uh, it says here, this crazy time, we're taking a step back to reflect on our hard-working staff. They're appreciating the people that work there. We are truly blessed to have the team that we do. One big happy family is an Oded Triple IPA loaded with citra and cashmere hops. So, very, very nice. Plain Jane Silver Can. It sounds like the little boy across the street cutting the grass. I apologize for the noise. Into the glass we go. Yep, definitely looks like a New England style beer to me coming out. Very cloudy, very hazy. We're going to do a little swirly swirl, make sure there's no settling going on. I don't think there could be in a short amount of time since this beer was put in the can. That definitely increased the head factor. Look at the cascading effect on it. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Almost as like a nitro beer with the cascading effect. And that really increased the head factor. Almost two fingers of head on that. I gotta be careful here. I'll be spilling it all over the damn place. Looks like a glass of orange juice to me. Very cloudy, very hazy. Definitely looks like a new English style beer to me, guys, and being a triple. Yeah, pretty. This is one you probably want to drink at home. So, uh, you can go stand in line and get it. Make sure you're not drinking it out in the parking lot before you drive home. Take it home, then drink it, unless you got a designated driver. Let somebody else drive you home while you're getting your shit paid. <laughs> Looks pretty good to me, guys. Let's get it to the nose. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. That smells awesome to me. I'm not getting any alcohol or booziness on the nose. Like I said, that may be a, a little different if I had had this beer 10 or 12 years ago. With, with the amount of beers I've reviewed, not so much anymore wouldn't be my first beer of the day to drink. Uh, definitely wouldn't, unless that was the only beer I was going to drink for the day. Very nice. Very nice aroma. Pine, grapefruit, pineapple. Hints of tropical fruit notes, maybe some peaches. Ah, smells awesome, guys. Now the head's down to about a finger. Looks awesome. That is a very, very good looking. Mm, 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 mm. That's not it. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Greg and Richie and Dino, the mastermind behind Body of the Sea Boy. Love your beer, man. Love your beer. Man, I don't, I don't detect the alcohol at all. It's a 10.25 percenter. Maybe I'm an alcoholic. I don't know. I don't know. I don't drink that many beers anymore every day. But I don't find it boozy at all. Greg, what the hell's the matter with you, boy? This ain't a boozy beer. I'd love to. I would love to, to visit that brewery and have a beer with uh, Dino. Uh, you make some awesome stuff, brother. Very tasty beer. I think we got another winner here, guys. Uh, I'm super impressed with what these guys are doing. Just like Trillium and Treehouse and Pariah. I mean, I would love to sit down with the owners or head brewers of all those places and uh, have a beer with them. I mean, they, they know how to produce a top-notch, world-class product. I mean, very impressive to me. That is absolutely delicious. I would spend my money on this beer. I don't think these guys produce anything that you wouldn't spend your money on. Not me, anyway. Not yet, anyway. Uh, everything that I've had from them has been a top-notch beer. So Let's do the swirly swirl one more time and get that little final chug thing out of the can into the glass. 
And again, I will probably have to pry this out of her hands when I give it to her to taste it. It's already left awesome basing on the glass. So, two thumbs up to the family at uh, Vitamin C Brewing. Uh, you guys rock. Uh, you're producing some world class stuff, and uh, y'all deserve all the praise and, uh, and support that uh, everybody uh, should be giving you. So, with that being said, it's right out of the fridge. Let's go sip on it, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I've been sipping up for a while now. Uh, awesome, outstanding lacing is left on the glass. And to me, it's an outstanding beer in the glass. Uh, I don't think it's very boozy at all. The other half liked it, and she didn't seem to think it was that boozy. But, of course, she gets to sip just about everything that I review for you guys. So, uh, she's tasted quite a few beers in her tenure too so uh, she usually gets to taste just about everything she wants to taste uh, so and she's a big fan of these New England style beers just like I am uh, they have absolutely ruined my palate I mean they blow everything else out of the water I mean I used to think West Coast style beers were the top notch and uh, until I got my hands on some of these New England style beers uh, they got a lot of big grades and uh, and I try to judge them according to what they are. If they say they're a West Coast style, I try to judge it accordingly. Uh, this is a definitely a New England style. Triple or an Imperial. Triple is not a recognized style like I told you earlier. Uh, so it's an Imperial IPA. Uh, since a triple is not recognized, 10.25 uh, is a big beer. This is a big boy's beer. Drink this one at home or have a designated driver if you're not. I uh, don't want to see you get in trouble or, or get a DUI or hurt any innocent people. How would you feel if you had an accident and you were driving drunk and hurt somebody? Uh, be a big burden to live with the rest of your life or kill somebody. Yeah. Not good. So, please drink responsibly, guys. Final chug on this one. Awesome beer. Absolutely outstanding. I would spend my money on it. Very delicious, guys. Two tens in a row. This is another ten, guys. Uh, I think it's absolutely fantastic. And, of course, I'm not driving. I mean, all I gotta do is walk down the hallway and fall down into bed. Not hurting anybody. Unless I stumble and hurt myself before I get there. <laughs> so, over to uh, Beer Advocate. They say N.A. Because only one, two... Two people come in, and one of them is a 4.73, and the other is a 4.25. Very impressive numbers from the two people that did comment there. And uh, over to Untapped, 590 people have commented on this beer or given it a grade. Uh, 4.45 from those guys. Pretty impressive numbers. Uh, it's a 10 for me, though. I mean, it's absolutely outstanding, and I would buy it. Uh, very tasty. Super tasty. World class. Galaxy class. I loved it. Greg, you can send me these triple IPAs all the time. And especially if you don't like them, send them to me. I love them. So, that's the one the world made like this one is. I mean, it's uh, it's not boozy to me. Uh, some people, like I said, if I'd have had this 10 or 12 years ago, it may be boozy. But to me, uh, my palate can handle it. So, uh, very tasty beer, another winner, another outstanding beer from Vitamin C Brewing. Do you know you're you rock, buddy? You you're you're kicking you're kicking the door down, my friend. Uh, so if you've had one big happy family from Vitamin C Brewing, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.